talking about, folks? This is lesson 65. 65. Now, the last one I did was, was very contrasty and dramatic in that, which is the, 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 the picture on Dartmoor. Today, I thought we'd do something entirely different. And the, the, the mood I want to convey today is, is of quiet and stillness muted colours and just softness. No birds, no people, no anything. Just a soft, soft picture. Now the colours I've chosen for this one are uh, cobalt blue, paint grey and raw sienna. I don't know if you can see that. There. So, uh, it, it, then these are very weak mixes. I don't, don't want anything strong. It's just, just weak mixes and we'll take it from there. Right, let's get cracking. So I think the first thing we, we should do is the, the, this weak mix of uh, sienna. And drop some of this under, under this picture here. Let's draft it on. And this is, it's a smooth paper, I've, I've, I've got this. It's a, it's a cheapo, I mean, uh, an inexpensive paper. So, uh, so don't expect if it, if it wobbles a bit, it'll it'll it, it'll wobble. But not to worry, we we'll, we'll cope with it. So that's our our undercoat, if you like. Of raw sienna. Now, to pick up on the the next colour of this, I want to start the top with some. <clears throat> this is cobalt blue, a, a weak mix of cobalt blue. This is. <clears throat> Nothing strong. Soft, whole softness. And keep this, keep this. I'll just keep this, this sienna glow in the in the sky. About there. This is what I'm trying to depict here. Is it is a the feeling of a. a of a weak winter sun just just trying to force its way through a miserable day and that's how I'm going to approach it right so there's the there's the cobalt blue And I suppose we'll get a touch of this. And I better do it while it's while it's still. We'll get a suggestion of this, this sienna. It's this raw sienna. And this 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 is water at the bottom here, folks. So let's put that in there. And of course, we're also going to pop into that a touch of the the cobalt blue as well. So it's a bit of both. Right now, that's we've got this softness now. Now, what I want to do is, is, is with, while it's still wet, I want to try and drop in some just suggestion, weak suggestion, if you like, of distant, distant activity. Well, not activity. It's 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 bushes or something in the background. You can hardly see them, so it's not that it's not that obvious. I'm, I'm being careful here. I'm trying to get the colour, colour mix, it's a weak mix, and nothing, nothing that jumps out at you. That's that's important. <clears throat> I 
Put you know sharp edges on there. It's just it's going to soften in this. Softly, softly. Hold this one. <coughs> and then these, this is sort of distant stuff, if you like. It's like, it's like painting with a feather duster, this. It's just, you've got to make it soft and muted. And then as it comes forward, there's, there's some bushes down here. We'll put those a little bit stronger using that Payne's grey. And I think a touch of cobalt in with it. Let's see how we go with this. A bit more Payne's grey. Yeah, not too strong. It's, you can do it too strong and you kill the mood, you will. Of course, it's not, it's not a fiddle brush I'm using, it's a number 20, this. So it's not a one that you can twiddle on with. You can't fiddle, I'll tell you. Get some. I'm trying to create depth. So the, that that was the the, the, the first uh, depth there, and then the second one here. So we, we're trying to create a three-dimensional look on a two-dimensional piece of paper, aren't we? But have full confidence in you, and I know you will do it. No problem. You'll walk this one. So it's softly, softly, hardly any, any, anything happening. That's just what I want. I don't want anything to happen. A bit of dark in here. Dark in here. Keep it soft. I'm thinking about the reflections in the water as I'm going along it. I'm trying to bring it all on at the same time. It's getting a bit dry now, so what I might do is get a smaller brush here. Wash that one out. A smaller brush. And uh, using the same colours again, I want to put another layer of uh, background, if you like. Oh, that's not background stuff. That's a bit dodgy. That still it'll, it'll do. Right. So we, we'll we'll create some some uh, close close up stuff. This will be uh, our next layer, if you like. Just think that you're, you're out on a walk and you've got your camera with you or you, you, whatever you're doing, or even walking the dog. And you'll find that if it's in winter, it's a lovely time to walk. You'll find that uh, you'll come across scenes like this and that there'll be nobody else about but you. And it'll be so soft so quiet you can feel just the only one in the world it's a lovely feeling so don't, don't get bogged down with detail 
This is just an exercise in, in tonal value really. Softness, there's no harshness about this one. You see the the, the, the dark, the actual dark here. It's darker on that side, and as I'm coming towards the centre where there's more light, it's getting softer or weaker. Because you're picking up some of this light that's down this this winter sun, which is there's hardly any strength in it, but but it's just trying to get break its way through. smooth edge on that where the snow starts so, oh, got a bit more dark in there Hope to create some some dark in here another layer No matter what it is, it's, it's not any. Uh, you can't name the shrub. It's, it's just, it's just there. This little bit of the foreground. It's coming towards you again. There's another layer. There's one layer, two layers, three layers, four layers on this little bit. And we're not even trying. It's just happening. Two little bits. I've just lightly sketched in some some trees there. Now these trees are are well, they, they just want to be in the scene, but but they're, they're they're not important really. But they but they're here. So let's take this this one down here. The thin one about here as well. And there's another one just here. A bit thicker this one. A bit different type, but it's wobbly this one. I'll make this one a bit wobbly as well. I just want to sort of put something onto it like this, this sort of stuff. Nothing special. Get a smaller brush for this, I'll get the rigger. Just to softly, softly and keep this mood going. shadow in this it's just just the, the winter sun is not it's not strong enough to create any sort of lights and darks it's just 
it's, it's, it's in the mist this so don't try and put, put buds or anything like that it's, it's, it's just stuff that's, that, that's happening and it's near you but, it's, but, it's, but you can't quite see it Of course, when you do that, don't forget that it's, it's going to reflect in this water down here. So be careful about that. You're going to you're going to get an, if, an effect of re reflection in the water down here, aren't you? It's important. There's one about there, a narrow one, a bit wider that one. And there's this one here, which is which is quite quite meaty there. And you might just get a touch of while I'm doing this, you might get a touch of this this stuff that's sticking out there. That's one side, I've got some more trees at this side. Let's put these in as well. I've got a nice thin one here. Get the rigger on that. Don't be it's all winter stuff this. No leaves on these. Just widen that a little bit there. I'm not making much noise on this. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing, but uh, I'll talk soon. Right. This is a, that, this is a quite a biggish tree. This one. So. Don't, Get that one in. I'm using the side of the brush to, to paint this one in to give me some wet width about it. about right, let's just get it right. You get branches coming down here. Some of these trees that grow up, don't they? then you get some of them which, which seem to extend their branches out. Don't ask me what kind they are, because I'm, I'm, I don't mind painting them, but I'm, I'm not very horticultural. 
that, that's a word for it. dark down this side because it, the, the sun is directly behind it. We, we, we're going to get something dark on it. I love experimenting like this, you know. It's the, 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 the joy of not knowing what you're going to get. Because even when you've been painting for years, you know, you still get a bit of a bit of a buzz out of what, what happens, what comes on the page. It's, it, it is, it's, it's, I can't explain it, it's just, it's just, just a joy. And of course, that's this that dark branch there. It's, it's put that this this tree in front of that one, isn't it? So it's given us another. And that branch there, which is coming out from behind the tree, is paler because it's going away from us. Does that make sense? So you you decide where they're coming from and where they're going to. We'll have another one up here. I think that's, I don't want to fiddle on this, I want to just make sure we get, if that one's leaning that way it'll get a reflection in the water here won't it? Of course we might get some of this dark that's this, this, this just showing here like this look. That big one will reflect in the water well, won't it? We should get a bit of that greenery as well down here. A bit softer than that. And then, I don't know if you notice on the painting, there's a sort of a, like a, a lean to, like there's a walkway here, over through the woods and that, but this has got a, I think this has got a, a, a rail here to stop you falling into the water. So we better put this in. I hope it's dry because I want it to sort of, uh, Go in there. Across there. Another one down here. I'll get that piece down. That piece down to here. I see, I see, we, we've managed to retain that glow in the sky there. And I don't know if you noticed, we haven't used the hairdryer yet, so we're not doing too bad. Now, where the uh, there's there's light and shade of course, but I'm, I'm trying not to add too much colour into this because it, it wants to be soft. 
Let's see if I can get. And as, as the light's coming from here, this 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 snow is is is. We're getting sort of this sort of effect on the edge of the snow, which which comes down towards the water's edge. The bit dodgy bits on here, like this, and where it comes over, where it's undulating. Well, I like that word, undulating. I must look that up, I can't spell it. It's just a bit more dark on this weather coming forward. Softly, 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 don't get carried away. And of course, there's some down here, like this, don't right down to the water's edge. So we've used a number 20 brush, we've used a number 6 and a rigger to try and we have done bad and we've only used three colours, haven't we? We just want to sort of just soften this as it comes over the edge there. I want to put a bit of a dark in there. It comes down here. This is, this is bringing this bit forward towards me, you see. You know what we talked about, about the, the darkest darks and that. Well, this is a, a real darky bit here because it, it's close to me and it's away from the sun. Or the, what was the sun, or, or the sun trying to get through. Now we've done that side, I might just do, do a touch of, just a touch more on there to, to level that out a bit. And... Uh, now we'll do this side, the sun's up, up there, so we, we, we're going to get some shadow, aren't we, on, on this side of the, this side of the, the snow, whereas it comes down towards the water's edge. So it's going to loop like that, as the snow is carried down, and come down a bit, a bit flat, won't it, like this. Don't forget the water is always flat. touching there and of course there'll be some of this lovely shadow on this stuff here as well like this as the snow comes off where the walkway is down towards the, the water's edge And of course, don't forget that that will reflect in the water. So that's going to be, and it's course, and the reflection, of course, is is not as strong as the as the actual item, is it? In fact, on, on reflection, what, what the, you tend to get is that the the whites become grey and the and the blacks become grey. So so it's a, it's a, a mix. It's it's an in between colour. And of course, if there's any movement in the water at all. That'll happen there, won't it? That a little bit across the top like this. It's still this water, so you're not going to get. You're going to get probably a, a mirror in a, a reflection. Inflection. What am I talking about? I'm talking about COVID. I get dafter. Right, and have a nice little bit of a dark under there like this. Up there. Lots a bit dark down here. Near the water's edge. This paint's great, it is people frown on it, but I I I find it useful. Don't knock it. Right. Let's put a 
got some. Uh, I don't like that bit there. It's it, it's it's come over the edge of my uh, over the edges where I wanted the snow to be. So I'm trying to find that rough brush I've got, and I'm going to put some water on it. I'm going to try and lift some of that out if I can. We might do it, we might not, we'll see. Yes, it's all it's all still wet wet this it's not soaked into the paper proper so so we can get away with that. By Jove. The cheating we do, I don't know why. So not to worry. Touch, touch more. I want this, this more dippy down bits here. As it comes down to the water's edge. I'm tempted to put a little bit of burnt sienna in. I don't wonder if it'll work. Just I might be pushing me luck here, but but we'll see. There's some raw sienna here, you see, in the, this glow of the sky, and you might just get a touch of it showing on this snow here, the reflected light. Because on, on snow, it's not it's not very often white, it's, isn't it? it it sort of reflects the stuff above it, and let's put a bit on this one here as well. And some of that to where it's catching the sun there on that bank. I was going to leave it. I'm, I'm glad. It, I think you think it's all right. It's it's it's, it, it's worked. I think. If we don't, we're stuck with it anyway. We can't take it up now. And I just want to put uh, I suppose I can put one or two just suggest and I might be fiddling here folks but just uh, I'm going to put one or two just a suggestive of, of, of a ripple ripple but it's the stillness of it that I like on this painting it's 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 not I want to just to live it across across here like this but Just to break that that uh, mirror image up just a little bit. And I stop. Stop there. Stop messing about. And just leave it, see how much. Don't want one or two more twiddly, twiddly, twiddly leaves out, you know, on them branches. Let's, let's have a look, see if I can suggest one or two. Or two I might get though in, in amongst this, like you, you, you could get a few, a few grasses, you know, like this. Just a suggestion, and perhaps a silhouette against there might be nice as well. Around the base of this tree, you get those, you know, these trees. You get them rogue branches which seem to want to grow from the from the base. 
just slip one or two of them in, in this, this close one, which is, this is our nearest tree, of course. Try to link that still with the background there, that'd be nice. And there's finally one thing to do. I'll do this first. Because it's, it's a bit wobbly. And the final thing to do is to put the blooming brush down before I start going mad and fiddling now never. Well there's our there's our sort of a, a nice still painting, a quiet painting, after that dramatic one on the on the Dartmoor last time. And uh, well I, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, if you have, uh, give us a like and subscribe and we'll we'll think of something different to do on the next one. So until next time folks, it's goodbye. Goodbye.